Hello, ITPC. Ethan, Parsimonious Piper here. No, today I'm not smoking. The ladies have abandoned me and told me that if he got fussy, I needed to swaddle him. I hope this counts. Well, what I do know is that Smoke and Fireman is having a 500 sub gaw, and what he wanted us to do was to highlight either our pipe collection or our cellar. Well, before we left for Arizona, I took a few quick clips of my pipe collection. I'm gonna stitch them together here for you now. We'll chat some more when I get back home. Let's start with the part of my collection you're probably most familiar with, and this is my Pipe by Lee cabinet. I have another cabinet that I'm working on beginning to fill, but from top to bottom, I've got 48 of them organized by shape and grade, number of stars, and finish. And in the lower right there, I've got a set of Pipe by Lee and Lord Davenport's that I'll talk about at some point in a separate video. Let's move on to my stands. Here are my Briar Lees, which are a second line to Pipe by Lee. I've got just under a dozen of these on a couple of racks. The exception would be that pipe all the way on the right is a Gold Coast, which is another seconds line from Pipe by Lee. This mostly empty rack um, on the left, I have a Gatlin Burlier Christmas pipe. In the middle, a couple of Pipe by Lees that I haven't finished uh, cleaning up, restoring. And on the right, a the very large bent billiard that you have seen me smoke before that I just don't have room for on the hanging racks. Uh, let's move over. And this is my current working uh, corn cob, Missouri Meerschaum rotation. You can see on the back side I've got four more and a real Meerschaum, a little tasting pipe. Very nice little billiard. I have a couple more Missouri Meerschaum cobs. Uh, one that I had uh, hand painted with a Bama logo. Uh, you guys have seen that one before. And then my MacArthur in the background. Don't smoke that one very often. It's a pretty deep bowl. The rarest of the Pipe by Lee pipes I have is this carved Viking head that was graciously gifted to me by Jeffrey Alton Carter. Lovely pipe. Now, lest you think that Pipe by Lee and Cobbs are all I have, not the case. From left to right, a Grabo Royalton Bulldog. Oh, let's see if I can hold that more steady. A no-name unstamped Danish freehand. A rinse freehand. Uh, Peterson 106 uh, dairy finish. My only Peterson, and it's a straight pipe, of course. Let's see if I can turn that around. There we go. Just a little Borkum Riff bent billiard dish pipe. I got that one some kind of promotion. And last and definitely least, uh, this is a Lucerne. Lucerne. Uh, cheap pipe. Uh, I, I don't know if it's made from pecan or something. Um, I even tried uh, drilling out the stem. I cannot get a pipe cleaner all the way through it. Uh, although I can get most of the way. Um, it's horrible. If you ever have a chance to pick one up, don't. A nice Bjarni uh, Rhodesian. I highlighted this one, oh, months and months ago. 
a lovely K. Woody Billiard from somewhere between the 50s and 70s. I forget exactly. I've got the time or the uh, the stamping on it uh, dated. And a BBB billiard from the 1950s. Lovely little pipe. That was my original pipe stand back when I oh so foolishly thought, oh, who needs more than three pipes? Yeah, right. You may recall just a short while ago, I showcased this custom cob from Aaron, Chronicles of a Pipe Maker. Finally, to channel the inner Greg Tunnel in all of us are my church wardens. I have a lovely Bowen that I got from Mike Philly Piper. And then from left to right, my wizard Cobbett, a pipe by Lee. Didn't even know they made a church warden before I saw that one. Then, uh, the, now I can't even remember what uh, what brand this black one was. It was a, a Barracini from uh, Pipes and Cigars. And I've just knocked over my pipe by Lee. And yeah, we'll get that later. And then this tiny little one here. Oh, that stem actually does fit. Let's make that look nice. The tiny little church warden. And barely fit a pinky in there. This is a, one of the first pipes I ever picked up. I just thought it looked cute. Well, I hope you enjoyed my uh, little snapshot tour of my pipes. As you can see, no infants were harmed in the making of the intro to this video. He may be a little fussy, but he performed his own stunts and came out with flying colors. Smoking Fireman, congrats on hitting 500. I will leave a link while he's getting fussy in the bucket below. <laughs> you guys, like something you like. See if you can enjoy a pacifier, maybe. Enjoy your afternoon.